In this Can You Build It, we are going to make a program that will give us an interactive animation. This all came about when your friend asked you a riddle. How can you walk without taking any steps? You didn't stick around to hear the answer because despite being stumped, you ran off to make your own solution. That's right, using your handy micro bit. Let's look at some pseudocode. All right, uh, we are learning a new concept today um, called functions, and so this pseudocode will be very useful um, to help looking into those functions. All right, so right at the start, I want to create a variable to keep track of my x position. I'm going to have a stick figure, and it's going to move to the left or the right, depending how I tilt it. And the way I'll know where it is, left or right, will be based on this number. So when it's at zero, it'll be right in the middle. If it's at negative one, it moves one direction. If it's positive one, it moves the other. If it's positive two, it moves even further that way. Uh, so I gotta create a variable to keep track of that. And then I wanna start my stick figure at uh, that position, which will be the middle. When I tilt left, I wanna change my x. That is the placeholder, that's the variable, keeping track of my position. Um, and then call my draw function. Now, when you call a draw, when you call a function, uh, it goes down to that function and it does what's ever in it, then goes back to where it came from. I've got a picture to show that in a minute. Um, so it'll come down here to my draw function. It'll clear the screen. It'll draw the figure at our variable of x, whatever that is. And then it'll come back up. And if I tilt right, it will change my x in a different way, then use the draw function. Come back up. Let's look at a picture. This is a little bit easier way to understand the pseudocode because we got a lot more stuff going on. So right at the start, we're going to make a variable and we're going to call draw. Uh, that dr uh, w w comes down here, so it takes it down to draw. We're going to clear the screen. We're going to draw our picture at that position x. Then we'll come out of this and we'll go back to waiting. Waiting's not really a block. It's just a placeholder for nothing's happening right now. But while waiting, if you tilt left, we'll come out of here towards tilt left, we will change the x, which is our variable, and call the draw again, which means we come down here to the draw. We In the draw, we'll clear the screen and we'll draw our picture at whatever x is now was just changed by tilting left. We'll come back out and go to waiting. If you were to tilt right, you'll come out of waiting, you'll tilt right, it'll change the x, which is that variable telling us where to draw the picture, and then call draw. Whew, that sounds very complicated, but I think when we get into the code, it will start to make sense. If you think you can uh, do this, I'd love for you to pause this video. Go ahead, try it out, try your best. And if you get stuck, come on back, hit play. And for everyone else, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I needed was an on start. We are starting with this on start. And we need to make our person. Now, in the past, we when we want to make something uh, using the LEDs, we've used you know show LEDs and we've drawn something on that. In this case, we're not going to do that. We're going to use our very use a variable to store a person or an image. So I'm going to make a variable. I'm going to name it something useful like stick dude. And then we need to set stick dude to be something. In this case, I don't want stick dude to be a number. I want him to be an, uh, an image. So if I scroll down, here is image. Sometimes when you open make code, you might not have these. Uh, that's because you need to click the advanced tab. So let's click that advanced tab. Let's scroll down and there's image. And here's where we have a create image. All right, let's drag this out and I can plop it in place of that zero. Uh, now this will be where I draw my stick person. There it, that person is. Cool. But 
this stick person is not being shown. Remember, I'm not calling this stick figure. I'm not saying, hey, display the stick figure. I'm just saying store the stick figure in stick dude. All right, the other new thing we're adding is function. So let's go over to function. We gotta make a function. And just like when you name variables, it's important to name your function something useful. In this case, since it's going to be my drawing, I'm gonna call it draw. Here we can see the function came out. Uh, that's a little small. So I'm going to zoom in using these pluses. There we go. All right, now in function, I want it to show my image. And to do that, I'm going to go to uh, images and I'm going to go to show image. Now I'm gonna leave this for a moment. I want you to think, will this work? There's two reasons why it won't. One, uh, this stick dude is holding, the stick dude variable is holding my image. My image has nothing to do with anything I've done. I need to change that to stick dude. The other thing is, is function, this function draw will not happen until something calls for it to happen. We're gonna go back over to function. We're going to grab a call function. All right, now we should see on start, our stick dude goes to this variable. We call this function, comes over here, and it shows our stick dude. Whew. But we want the stick dude to be animated. We want this to change. And so the way we're going to do that is we are going to uh, use this offset and it offsets it left and right. If you think about in math, when you're graphing, your X axis goes left to right and your Y axis goes up and down. I need a variable to hold that number because that's going to change. <clears throat> so let's make a variable. Let's name it something useful. In this case, X because I'm changing my X. I'm gonna pull this out, I'm gonna set X to zero right on start, perfect. Now, I want to show stick dude at offset of X. We're gonna go back over to variables, we're gonna grab an X, and we're gonna plop it right in there. Now, nothing in this program visually over here has changed. Our Output is the exact same. We got a stick dude just standing there. But now we can change where the stick dude is. Uh, let's give that go. Let's get some input going on in here. I want something to happen. I'm going to go up to input and I want it to be tilting. Uh, when I tilt left, I want my stick person to go to the left. And when I tilt right, I want stick person to go to the right. I know that I can change shake to be a tilt. So let's do that. Let's select shake, change it to tilt left. Now we need to change this X. So we're going to go to variable and we're going to go to uh, set X. And we need some math here. We want to do X minus one. So we're going to go back over here to math. We're going to grab a little bit of math. And we're gonna grab X one more time. What this says here is set X to X plus zero. Uh, well, let's have that be X plus one. So something happens. All right, we always wanna be testing. We wanna be seeing if what we're doing is working. So let's go up. I'm going to tilt our micro bit emulator to the left. Sometimes I don't have very good luck with this happening. Ah, it's not because I'm having bad luck. I'm sure that number is changing, but I'm not calling that draw function. Let's go to function. Let's pull out the call. Let's put it in there. All right, now let's try it. Look at that. Every time it tilts left, stick person moves to the left. We want the same thing to happen when we tilt right. I'm going to right click and duplicate these sets of blocks, they are almost exactly what we want. But instead of tilting left, we want to tilt right. And instead of adding one, 
we want to subtract 1. I'm going to change this to a minus. All right, let's test it. Remember, we're always testing every place we can. Yes, we move to the left, we move to the right. This is really neat. We now have a little stick person who will move when we want them to. But I've got an extra challenge here. What if, instead of just having this person go left and go right, we wanted them to do a split on command? Well, remember how we're setting this image as a variable and variables can change? Ha! Let's change that variable. I'm going to go to image. I'm going to pull out a create image. I'm going to go to variables and I'm going to pull out a set. Put these together. And lastly, I'm going to go to input and I'm going to pull out a button A. So when button A is pressed, it will set X to be whatever I want. But I want X. I don't care about X. I want stick dude. So whenever I press A, I want stick dude to do a split. So let me, uh oh, get, I animate a little split. <coughs> but nothing's going to happen. Changing this variable won't change anything else un until we call that draw. So let's see. So left, right, left, right. Nothing happens when I press A until we go left or right. So we need to call that draw function. I'm gonna go over to function, call draw. Reset, all right. And look, instant split. But I don't want my person split forever, so I'm going to go I'm going to duplicate this, put it below my call, and then change it to be uh, my stick person not doing a split. <laughs> Making sure I match the image. And then we're going to do one more call of the draw function. All right, let's see. We go to the right, we go to the left, a little split. Now, this is the cool part. Our person is way over there. When I do the split, they do the split over there. This would be very challenging, if not impossible to do with just blocks. But by using our two variables, we can have this image change and its position change based on things happening to the micro bit, such as being turned one way or the other and pressing a button. And the other thing is, is that we are using this, uh, this draw function and there's only one block in here, but this could have a hundred blocks, a thousand blocks in it. And we can call it and see how we're calling it one, two, three, four, five times. We'd have to replay, copy all those blocks. But, it, and that, you know, could be very messy, hard to read, but here, it's just one block, and it's really easy for us to use. Are there other animations you could add to your stick person? What should the B button do? Maybe both buttons. I can't wait to find out. I hope you found this Can You Build It useful and informative. We learned a whole bunch of new stuff. We learned how to store an image as a variable and how the function works.